Here behind me, this is one of the schools they're working to upgrade in case a major hurricane hits. This is also the second season that they're having to prepare with a pandemic in mind as well. It's not a situation anyone wants to be in. I think we've got other options with family that I would look into before going to a shelter. Unfortunately, when forced to evacuate for a hurricane, for some, a shelter is the only option. Many large catastrophic storms uh, three days out are just tropical storms. That's why county officials are urging residents to have a plan and why they're working to upgrade several shelters to prepare for widespread power outages. Strawberry Crest is in a, a special needs shelter that every time we turn it on as a special needs shelter, we have to rent a uh, very large generators and chillers that in some cases has have, have to come all the way from North Carolina. This is one of four schools the county is now installing generators to speed up the process of opening shelters when needed. We're rushing the clock at that point to get the generators. In Yaki Rizzola with Hillsborough County Emergency Management says they're prepared to open more shelters to allow for social distancing. Residents can expect a screening process and must wear a mask to help control the spread of COVID-19. And we'll be taking temperature checks We'll be seeing how people are feeling. Um, now we have the ability possibly of doing some a rapid test if necessary to really determine whether maybe someone needs to be in an isolation area. We've created isolation areas within the shelters. County officials, they want to stress that a shelter is like a lifeboat and should be your last option. They want residents to have a plan if they need to evacuate to go with family or friends if you're able to. In Hillsborough County, Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.